All right, we're going to take a look at the uh, sales rep or sales by rep uh, on a cash basis report. So that way, you know, a lot of people pay their sales reps uh, only if they if the company has been paid, right? So only when the cash has been received. So if you run your books pretty much on a cruel basis, but you need to know the sales rep report by cash basis, here's what you do. Go up to reports, sales by rep summary or detail, whatever you want to run it by. All right, I'm just going to say all so I can see all time. So first things first, this report is nice because I can see which invoices don't have a sales rep assigned to them. So if they all should, I can double click on this amount here, go in and uh, edit and sh you know say who the sales rep is. Okay, sales reps uh, wasn't on that form. So if I go in here and change it, I can add the sales rep here and then go back and change it back. So it still picks up which sales rep it is. So that comes off this report and it updates these reports here. All right, so now this is showing us accrual basis. So there's that right here. So this is based on all time, whether the customer is paid or not. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and modify this, switch it over to cash basis, say OK. And notice how it changes dramatically. This 43000 now drops down to fifteen. Jamie James only has $2,000. Instead of the four, show Joseph twenty four hundred dollars, and this is their cash basis report to show what their commission is on a cash basis. So if I go look at this, open it up here, notice that that invoice has been paid. Okay, so that's how you run a sales uh, by rep summary for invoices that have been paid already.